Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with a full review of the Synology Disk Station 216 Plus 2 NAS drive. This NAS comes with a matte black finish all over, which can be very nice for hiding it away in whatever tech setup that you have. There is a glossy panel on the front that slots in between the drive trays. This is to make sure that there's no easy access to the hard drive, just in case you can't resist the urge to just pull out the hard drives whenever you want. Why you'd be doing that I don't know but it's just something to cover up easy access. My only issue here with this is it becomes a fingerprint magnet. This shouldn't really be an issue because once you set the NAS drive you should be able to forget it. As this is a two bay NAS there is not a lot of cooling required hence there is only one single quiet fan on the back. On the front there are various lights that indicate activity and status and one cool thing is that you can alter the lights so for example if you're watching a movie and you need the room to be dark you can turn the lights down so it doesn't disturb you. One of my favourite things about this NAS drive is that it features a toolless design. Get your hard drive, put it in the enclosure, put the enclosure into the NAS drive, job done, no tools required. If you want to include a 2.5 inch drive or an SSD, you will have to use screws at some stage. The specs of this NAS drive include an Intel Celeron N3060 CPU, 1GB of DDR3 memory. The compatible drives are 3.5 inch SATA 3 and SATA 2, 2.5 inch SATA 3 and SATA 2, and 2.5 inch SATA 3 and SATA 2 SSDs. The ports included are two USB 2s, one USB 3, one eSATA, one power port. It weighs approximately 1.25 kg, and the dimensions are 165 by 108 by 233 millimeters. The operating system of this drive is one of, if not the selling point when it comes to it. From within you're able to do all the basics like add users, add groups, permissions, all of the cool diagnostic stuff. Like for example I have email notifications set up so every time a hard disk fails or there's some update happening I get an email just so I can keep track of the NAS from an admin point of view. You can also change the fan speed to quiet mode if you're concerned about noise pollution. There is also a heavy focus on packages and applications that allow you to improve your NAS with third party and or in-house ones. So you can do anything like put a web server on there all the way down to creating your own media server. Regardless of the Synology NAS that you have you'll be able to be on this operating system so think of the device as the hardware obviously and then you have the operating system on top so you can have three different NAS drives consisting of different hardware but the operating system will remain consistent and their operating system is the best of all the NAS drives that are out there based on usability, based on security and the amount of features that it packs in. Don't get me wrong, there are various other NAS drives that are manufactured out there but if you ask anybody they'll tell you that Synology operating systems are the best there is. I would love to be proved wrong if you're a manufacturer out there of any NAS drives and you think yours is better, please leave a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. We can sort a review sample out and we'll put it to the test. I do, however, stand by what I say when I say that the Synology operating system is the best on any NAS drive. Moving on. In this demo, although not ideal, I am running a couple of hard drives that I found from within external hard drives and just laying around my house. This, again, is not ideal, but it works. When you plug these in, Synology automatically picks this up and puts them into what's known as the Synology Hybrid RAID. Without giving you a substandard and possibly unclear explanation of what this does, this is what Synology describes it as. SHR is an automated RAID management system that makes storage volume deployment easier than traditional RAID systems. SHR will allow users to handle RAID management, expand storage, and maximize storage capability even if they don't have a fine grasp on the various RAID levels. SHR allows for one disk or two disks worth of redundancy, meaning that the SHR volume can suffer up to two disks lost, and the data volume will still be available for use. Please note that a RAID volume, either Classic RAID or SHR, is not a backup system. So as I mentioned earlier, I have two random drives plugged in, and Synology chose the most suitable configuration. I lose one drive, I take it out and replace it, it will copy the stuff back across. Just remember that in theory you can put most hard drives in there. However, I wouldn't recommend just putting any old hard drive in there like I have. Please visit the link in the description to see the exact make and models of hard drives and solid state drives 
that will get the best out of your NAS. Because after all, you don't want slow speeds if you're going to be using this a lot. As of recording this, there are several features that are available that are still in beta. However, by the time you watch this, they will be in the App Store, good to go. If you want to install add-ons yourself, open Package Center, click on Settings, and then click on the Beta tab, tick the checkbox, and you will see the beta applications in the store. Speaking of beta applications, Chat, the first of its kind instant messaging app operating in a 100% private environment, offering real-time communication, powerful information and data management, and encryption for private channels. Integrating with Calendar and Office, Synology collaboration packages work hand in hand with each other to streamline teamwork. That's the official description of the chat one. The chat app is fairly self-explanatory, really. You're able to host and join virtual private chat rooms. This allows you to communicate with any and all users of the NAS drive, providing that they have been given the correct permissions. Because obviously, if you're using this within a small home or business setup, you won't want people chatting away all day and, you know, not working. You can share all important emojis, pictures, links, you name it, to make collaboration as easy as possible. You can also download the chat app on your phone and sign in with your NAS user credentials to carry on the conversation. To be completely honest and upfront, I can see the practicalities of this feature and this application, but in the real world of Facebook, WhatsApp and all the other applications out there. I think this chat app will be a little bit of an afterthought. I could however be wrong, I often am. I do see the appeal of having complete control over chat logs and encrypted chat tunnels for example. So you be the judge, what do you think? Do you think people are going to be using this as their primary chat within office environment or do you think they're just going to be using the Facebook Messenger like 99% of the world does already? Let me know. Moving swiftly on to Video Station. So you have lots of videos and movies on your NAS drive, right? Video Station will allow you to index them by choosing a certain folder to act as the directory. I have to be honest, I did have some problems playing back some videos at the time, even when trying multiple formats, MP4, WMV, etc, etc. I did eventually get it to work, and I found out that it was because of my slow hard drives and internet connection at the time. So just to reiterate the fact that you should check your network connection, your router or router, the hard drives included and make sure they're all up to spec before you start complaining about slowness and things like that because it could and it was in my case be on your end in terms of the hardware. As I mentioned there were some issues with playback but this should be fixed by the time the real one comes out. This is the whole point of a beta so you're supposed to review the application, give them feedback, let them fix the bugs. That's the whole point of launching an app through beta. If you've got a tablet I would just use that because it's a bigger screen, better viewing, you get the idea, instead of watching a feature length movie on your iPhone. Some people like that, but I prefer the bigger screen. You may also want to check out the Office and Calendar apps while you're at it to expand the functionality. Beta is beta, it won't be perfect, but at the moment the apps are very, very close. Overall, this NAS is a solid device that will fit into your tech setup perfectly. Just be sure that you actually need a NAS drive before shelling out for one of these. You may very well find that if there are only a few people using this, it might just be worth connecting an external hard drive to a machine and managing all of your files and folders that way. Again, depends on the amount of people. In my situation, I don't really need a NAS drive, it's just a luxury. But if you're, let's say, four or five, or, you know, five to ten people, I would definitely think about it. It's definitely worth considering. If you have any questions about this device, please fire away in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with a full review of the Synology DiskStation 216 Plus 2 NAS drive.